We are in my hideaway on a Monday afternoon now, just because we have a lot going on and we're doing quite a bit this morning. So I've separated myself out of the office and dealing with letters, bills, website, responding to certain things. He's got a bit of a week on his hand where he needs to figure everything out. So yeah, great start to Monday morning. We're getting things done and we've got into the afternoon and I am actually leaving right now. Phil, how have you missed me on a Monday, which has been unusual? been lost, mate. <laughs> been lost. Sent me some reels, haven't you? Uh, yeah. Sent me some, <laughs> keeping busy, sent me some reels. Great start to the week. Morning. How are we all? Just got to collect some keys for a property that we bought a few months ago. Um, I'm going to take you straight there. You should always smile when you collect keys. Um, it's still amazing, amazing feeling to know that you bought something and you're going to do great things with it. So here, we're going to the site. This should be good. Um, this should be good to document on social media. This should be good for YouTube. Great for earn and learn partners. Um, go and check it out. So we're here. This is going to be turned into a HMO, House of Multiple Occupancy and going to document this on an earn and learn journey with people there's someone behind you i'm going to take a big thing of it because i want people to see what the earn and learn is i want people to see how amazing the earn and learn is and why we actually do it but um should i take a look phil in you go weekly gang what's going on so today we've got a full day of shooting content for the weekly uh, we've got a couple of videos that I need to shoot as well because now we're trying to stick to a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday release just to keep some consistency in it. So that means a lot of work, a lot of filming, a lot of editing. Um, so yeah, let's see how today goes. I just want to make sure that that payment was made yep. to make sure that that's cleared off. So that's all the landscaping done. Yeah, we've got the snagging, and once snagging's done, then I've checked it, signed it off, then we'll get final payments. Okay, okay. same. Um, and then also, we're sticking a couple of properties up for sale. Yes. So we'll sit down and go through that right now. Yeah. Which ones we want to get rid of, guys. We try not to sell, but some properties are just a headache and a bad omen. And sometimes, you know how I am with 11, my gut, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes we have to just do what we have to do because we feel like there's there's just negative drama with them all the time. Nick Morley, secured a deal. Got it. Um, he did the deal sourcing mentorship, which was a six weeks um, intensive course. And he got the deal, got it over the line. It was actually sourced for another Property Circle member called Josh who is a great guy, like sensational guy. So I'm only looking outside this window a lot, guys, because there's a lot going on in Birmingham today and there's more people than I've seen in a very long time. So I need to stop focusing on that. So yeah, um, Nick did the six weeks intensive, smashed it, listened to everything I said do, got his first deal across the line today. Very proud, he's a great guy, um, I really like him and we've just opened up 10 slots for the July one. So we're doing another six weeks intensive in July for deal sourcing. And yeah, there's the email, Steve at Steve Hamilton. Unless Property Circle members take all the spaces first, they will be put out to the public tomorrow. And I say public, not members. Um, so by the time you probably watch this on Sunday, I don't know whether they're still gonna be here. Hopefully there is one or two that you guys can grab onto. But yeah, deal sourcing is the way forward. So we've been putting off picking the keys up for these houses. So I think I'm gonna pick one up tomorrow morning if you wanna do a walk around video of it or if you wanna do something on that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then um, 144 is finished. Okay. So we're having it staged. Yeah. Do you wanna film it when it's staged? Yeah. Okay, so there's a girl going tomorrow to, um, to give us a price to stage it. That's done now. Cool. Um, yeah, I think it'll look much better if it's staged. Okay. Just get a bit better shots on it. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, where's the house for the keys? Also. Right, yeah, yeah. You just do that at all and just say what you want to do with it. Okay, and then if you want to do another success story on Nick Morley, he secured a deal. Mm. Um, and after he'd done the six weeks mentorship program. Yeah. So do you want to get that in? Do you want to make a video about that? Yeah. Okay. don't know where or how. Maybe do like a sit down talk. Yeah, because the property source is in the Wirral, so I don't, it's far. Yeah. So do you yeah. want to get him in? Yeah, get him in one day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be good. Alright, safe. Yeah. And there we have it. Your videos are sorted. Videos are sorted. Three videos. Which will bring us up to sometime mid June. And then it all starts again. More videos, more editing. Let's go. This we've got round two of Darren, his second property that we shot on the day. Another bungalow. He seems to enjoy doing these bungalow refurbs. Um, this one was very similar to the last one. Yep, that's all. Um, but he's done really good, so Darren, well done. Absolutely smashed it. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. What is the correct path to making your first million? Do you dream of having a business that turns over a million pounds? Or do you want a million pounds in your bank account? I know which one I would rather have. There is a process, there is a strategy, and there are foundations that you have to build off to get to that million pounds. Come down to how to make your first million one of my best events that I do, and you can get the blueprint. Guys, you saw outside the front, we are finishing on the drive now, so it's all been capped, it's all done, all the edge signs are on, finishing up the touches outside, we're back to dig up the road and put new tarmac down. You can hear the music upstairs, we've got the painters in. They're giving it their final coats. Um, it looks so fresh. I mean, it just looks incredible. It just needs a real good deep clean, I think. Uh, I'm having a mastic man come round to seal all the edges and stuff, but that can't be done for a few weeks because we need all the dust to settle and everything just sort of to be correct to any bumps. The contractors, incredible. Honestly, incredible. And um, thank you very much, and my team will be in shut shortly. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, a bit. Bye. Got some new partners coming in. I've had some really cool people around me at this precise moment in time. Um, very, very happy with the way things are going. Very happy with a lot of things that are happening, if I'm honest. I like to have conversations with people. I like to, um, to make things. Last year, we had a lot of things I didn't want to, like, it's not that I didn't want to resolve them, it was basically we had certain things in place that were supposed to make it easier which didn't actually happen, it didn't make it easier, that's, that's just the way it is unfortunately, but this year... Morning Nikki. Hello. <laughs> what was that camera in my mind? What are we doing today? I am just sorting out some bits for my earn and learn people. Um, getting the folders ready for their visits and just speaking to them all, making sure they're okay. What do um, you do, Phil? Just filming, as always. <laughs> filming, <laughs> editing. Um, quick one. Go on. What is an earn and learn, if people don't know? So the earn and learn is where you go on a project with Steve. Um, so you put in an amount, obviously you'd have that conversation with Steve privately. Then you get to come on site visits, so you get to see start to finish of different properties. So we aim to show you multiple sites now. Um, it's just better for your learning because then you could see a HMO, you could see a flat, you could see a semi-detached, detached house. So yeah, I'm just getting everything in place really. Busy, busy. Why do you do that? Nikki said to come over to you now, Lou. She would, Phil. She would. Go on. What's your plans for today? So, I'm talking to our lovely members. Um, I'm introducing the universe to them. So, a lot of them don't know what plus is or platinum. So. Yeah, I'm ringing them, talking to them about it, and yeah, hopefully they'll jump on board with us. So whoever's watching and gets a phone call from TPC, is this one here? It's me. We're inside, and it smells a bit, a bit, yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, how about that? Frank me feel um, uneasy. It's very big. Very, very big property. Quite a bit of damp. There. A bit of damp there. The, um, the floor needs leveling as well. This is, I don't like this. This is annoying me. It annoyed me the first time I came in. We'll go in the garden. This is, this is it and then it's shared access. We have, um, it's nice. I'm happy with it, it's decent. Good money, right price. Um, need to get started. I need to, I, I need to, I need to make sure that um, we left it sitting for a while. We haven't had time to, to get things done. So now we do, we can document it amazingly well. That's what I want to do. I want to document this one really well. Stick around. Wait for D. Where's D? The toilet. Where's D? <laughs> toilet. 10 times later. Yeah, took some stuff out of my bag. So. <laughs> makes a massive difference, doesn't it? Waiting for the, um... Getting for the socials. That's it, mate. We've actually been waiting for the weather. Another step closer to completion. Um, there's certain things you can't control, like the weather, Western Power. But we have actually got um, an answer for Western Power. So the original quote was 14,500. We had some information given to us by a property circle member who deals with this kind of stuff, Scott. And then we put this to Western Power, and then all of a sudden they've come back with a new quote today. Which is what, Dan? Uh, well, I'm trying to find the exact figure for you, but it's just over three thousand pound. So from fourteen and a half, I think it was, to three thousand pound. Um, not saying anything. Keeping my mouth. We've got a brand new. Perhaps she said, brand new Worcester boiler. That would have been done on the, under the government grant scheme. Still trying to figure out um, how exactly I want to do it. Still not 100% sure how I want to do it yet, but stick with me, we will figure it out. That one is super cool. From one camera to another. So, so. I don't know how that would have looked on you doing that. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. Um, with the team, happy, another collection, time to get it started, time to get things done. Um, it's been a rocky six months. It's been a rocky six months where we're trying to figure out strategies, angles to go, things to do, projects to do, managing everything. But you know what? As a friend of mine just said to me on the phone, stay. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. There's a reason only 1% succeed. Got to keep going. Always dreamed of being a property developer or a property investor and don't know which way to go? Get down to my next property accelerator, £11 a ticket, and you will have a clear understanding of which way you need to go to create that financial freedom.